Hi everyone! Today's topic is tulip bulbs, or to be more precise, tulip bubbles, the tulip bulb mania. I want to try and explain to you today how the first real economic bubble happened. Right, tulip bulbs. I'm sure you all know what a tulip is. A tulip is a beautiful flower. Tulips come from a bulb. Well, actually, they come from a seed, but it takes seven years for the seed to turn into a flower. So once the seed has become a flower, it produces a bulb at the bottom of it, which is this shape. We call them light bulbs because they look like tulip bulbs. Is this shape. And once you have a bulb, you can produce a plant every year. You can produce a flower every year. So tulips are always sold as a bulb because if you buy the seed, you have to wait seven years for the flower. Now tulip bulbs, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them on Amazon. Right now, they cost about a dollar each. It depends on the type of tulip, but about a dollar each. We're going to talk about when tulips were first introduced into Europe. Tulips are not native to Europe. You probably know that most of the world's tulips right now come from the Netherlands, but tulips are not native to the Netherlands. Tulips actually come from the Middle East Turkey area. In uh, 1524, a man called Ogier de Buzbek, I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation, he brought tulips from the Ottoman Empire to Europe. Now these tulips, they took quite well to the climate in Europe and they started to grow very well, very easily. Before that, Europe didn't have that many colorful flowers. So tulips became extremely popular. There are four basic types of tulip. You've got single hue tulips, that's one color. So you have your red tulip or your yellow tulip. You have white streaks on red or pink. That means you have a red or a pink tulip flower with white stripes all over it, streaks all over it. Then you can have white streaks on a purple or a lilac flower, and then you get mixed colors. The single hue tulips are the most common, therefore they are the cheapest. The mixed colors, those are the rarest, therefore they're the most expensive. The mixed color tulips are actually caused by a virus. Inside the bulb, two tulips develop and they join together. So you'll have a red and a yellow tulip that are mixed. Those are the rarest tulips. Okay, tulips bloom for about one week of a year, usually April or May. And between June and September, tulips can be moved around. That information is going to become important later. You'll find out why. Okay, that's the background finished. So, a tulip bubble. What actually happened? Well, in 1636, November the 12th to be exact, the price of tulip bulbs began to rise. Why does that happen? Well, it's pretty simple really. The farmer grows the tulip. The farmer grows the tulip and he sells the tulip, let's say for a dollar. Oh, that's a beautiful tulip, thank you. I'll buy that for a dollar, there's your dollar. Someone that buys the tulip, they then turn around and they sell it on. I've got a beautiful tulip here, it's two dollars. Do you want to buy it? Oh yes, that's a very nice tulip, thank you. I'll buy it for two dollars. And the price goes up. This is pretty simple, this happens with almost anything. However, sometimes people can get carried away. What? You just bought a tulip bulb for a dollar and now you're selling it for two dollars? The price has doubled. I'll buy one of those. Okay, the price is now four dollars. Oh, thank you. I'll buy it for four dollars. The price goes up. Someone else hears that. What? The price of the tulip bulb has gone up from one dollar to four dollars in the space of a day? I'll have one of those. Okay, now it's eight dollars. And the price slowly goes up and up and up. Now with a bubble, what happens with a bubble is the price keeps rising and it rises almost exponentially. That means it doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles. At one point in early 1637, let me, I have a list here. This is what somebody swapped for a tulip bulb. Are you ready? All of this together was swapped for one tulip bulb. 3,500 kilograms of wheat, 7,000 kilograms of barley, four cows, eight pigs, 12 sheep, 600 liters of wine, 8,000 liters of beer, 500 kilograms of cheese, 2,000 kilograms of butter, one bed, one suit of clothes, and one silver cup. All of that together was traded for one single tulip bulb. 
So this uh, illustrates how high the price was going. Now, with a bubble, as the price keeps going up and up and up, people get carried away and they want to get in on this. They want to make some money. And because more people are coming in, the price keeps going up. The price becomes artificially high. This is the start of a bubble. Now, when the price is going up and up and up and up and up, at some point, it must stop. And that is when the bubble bursts. However, before that, let's cover a couple of things that happen during the tulip uh, bubble. One of them is the invention of, well, maybe the invention, the introduction, the introduction of something called futures. Now, remember I said tulips can only be transferred between June and September. That means if you want to buy tulips, say in January, you cannot actually have the tulip until June or September. So what do we do? We have something called futures. The person says to the farmer, okay, I want to buy one of your tulip bulbs, but I cannot buy it now. So I promise that in September, I will give you $10 for one bulb. The farmer says, okay. The person writes on his piece of paper, September, one tulip bulb, $10, gives it to the farmer. That means if the price of tulip bulbs goes up, which this person hopes, when they buy the tulip bulbs in September, they still only have to buy them for $10, but hopefully the price will be, let's say, $100. If that happens, they make lots of money. However, of course, the opposite can also happen. The price could fall. If the price falls to $5, this person still has to buy the tulip bulb for $10. Okay, that's a future. But now you can also trade in futures. So this piece of paper that says I can buy one tulip bulb for $10 in September, I can now sell. If somebody thinks the price of tulip bulbs is going to go up to $100, they're going to pay a lot of money for this. So let's say I sell this future to someone else for $50. They now in September can buy that tulip bulb for $10. If the price is 100, 100 minus 10 minus 50, it's 60, which means they get $40 profit. I, on the other hand, I've just made $50 for doing nothing. Now, if the price of tulips keeps going up and up and up, the person that just bought this for $50 can sell it for $100, for $200, for $500, for $1,000 even. And if I buy this piece of paper for $1,000 and I can buy a tulip bulb for $10, I'm going to make a lot of money unless the price of tulip bulbs has crashed. If that happens, I'm going to lose a lot of money, which of course is what did happen. Now, the second thing, and this is where a lot of people lost a lot of money. Let's say I have $1,000 in the bank. I want to buy tulip bulbs. Tulip bulbs are trading at $100 each. I buy 10 tulip bulbs. I now have zero money in the bank and I have 10 tulip bulbs. If the price goes up, I sell them, I make money. If the price goes down or crashes, I cannot sell them. I've lost $1,000. What happens to me? I've lost all my money, mm, which is sad, but you can live with that. However, let's say the price of tulip bulbs is going up and up and up and up and up and I want to buy some, I want to get in on this action, but I don't have any money. I go to the bank and I say to the bank, hi, can I borrow a thousand dollars please? And the bank say, sure you can, here you are, please sign this piece of paper. If you cannot pay us back, we'll take your house. Okay. And I know the price of tulips is going up and up and up, so I'm going to accept that of course. I borrow the thousand dollars, I buy my tulips. Yay, I've suddenly got 10 tulips. The price of tulips crashes. Oh no, I've got 10 tulips. I cannot sell them. I cannot pay the back, bank back my $1,000. They take my house. Okay, so the second thing is borrowing to invest. Now, the price of tulips keeps going up and up and up and up and up for about half a year. Then suddenly, February the 3rd, 1637, one morning in one shop in Amsterdam, Buyers don't show up. The people who are going to sell the tulips are there, but nobody comes in to buy them. There are many reasons why this could have happened. Uh, the bubonic plague was actually big in the area at the moment. People maybe may have been scared to come. Um, maybe it was a rainy morning. There are many reasons why people didn't come, but the reasons are not important. The fact is people didn't come to buy these tulip bulbs. Now what happens? The price of tulips is going up and up and up and up and up. It has to keep going up. If there is any doubt, if there is any uncertainty in the system, the whole system will come crashing down. Now, 
that one morning, those two or three hours when people didn't show up to buy the tulip bulbs, that spread across the tulip world. People were suddenly thinking, people are not going to buy my tulip bulbs. I've spent $10,000 on this tulip bulb. What if nobody buys it? I have to sell it. I have to sell it. I have to sell it now. And people start panicking and they start frantically trying to sell their tulip bulbs. But my tulip bulb for $10,000, no one is going to buy it for that price because they know the price is now on a downward spiral. They're not going to pay $10,000 for this because it's not going to be worth $10,000 the day after. So I'm lucky if I can sell it for $1,000 or $50 or even $100 or even $1. If I pay $1,000 for this and I can sell it for $1, I've lost $999. The whole tulip industry collapses. And the prices come back down to where they should have been in the beginning. Because with any bubble, the prices have been artificially increased. Now, bubbles will happen again. Bubbles happen very often. Uh, 2008, there was a housing market bubble. Uh, 1994, the Japanese bubble collapsed. This will always happen. People will see people making money and they will want to get in on that and that will push the price up. Now, to finish, <laughs> there are two pieces of advice I have for you if you're going to invest like this. First one, is be very careful if you are borrowing to invest. If you invest your own money and you lose it, it's sad, but you can survive. If you borrow money to invest and you lose it, you still have to pay back that money, and that can destroy a lifetime. The second thing is, if the price is going up and up and up and up and up, it will fall at some point. You have to be careful. With the tulip bubble, Many people lost a lot of money. Many people lost their houses, all of their income, everything. However, some people made a lot of money. The very smart people, the very, very smart people can see the trend. They can see the bubble about to burst and they sell there just before it bursts. And then when it bursts, they have made money. So if you are careful and if you can see the trajectory, if you can see when the bubble is about to burst, you can make a lot of money, but be very careful. Anyway, thanks for listening. This was fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.